हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टेलिंग यू दैट हाउ टू क्रिएट ए पीडीएफ फाइल इनसाइड योर डीनो एप्लीकेशन सो एज यू नो दैट डीनो इज अ न्यू रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट फॉर टाइप स्क्रिप्ट एंड जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो इट इज सिमिलर टू नोट शेयर सो इट इफ यू टाइप डीनो ऑन गूगल सो यू विल बी लैंड इन ऑन दिस पेज हेयर इट्स अ सिक्योर रन टाइम एनवायरमेंट फॉर जावा स्क्रिप्ट एंड टाइप स्क्रिप्ट and for the full source code you can refer to my blog here which is given in the video description here i have given step by step instruction on how to create a pdf file using dano and for this we will be using a library specific library which is called as pdf dash lib so if you search this library this is the official uh, website of this library pdf dash lib with the help of this library you can create pdf files with any sort of programming language we will take example of dano so before proceeding on you should be having dano installed if you type the command you will see this version number i have already installed this 1.1.2 and now you just need to create a new directory create a app dot type script file app dot ts and now you just need to copy paste this code just go to my blog and copy paste it and i will write the code step by step for us so the first step you need to import this library which is import pdf document from this address and then we need to create a new pdf document so basically we will use this method pdf document dot create so basically this will create a new instance of pdf document now we will uh, we will add a new page inside our pdf document with the help of dot add page method so this will store this page number and now we will write something inside our pdf document which is creating pdfs in deno is awesome and the second argument is takes is the x and the y coordinate we will provide x to 100 y to 100 uh, 700 and then we need to save this document inside our local disk now we can use the save method which this library provides here after that we will write the file which will be create or let me create dot pdf so it will create this file and lastly we can console log that pdf file written to create dot pdf that's it so this is a script you need to write and now we can simply execute the script just go to the command line and if you just run the script without passing any sort of flag dino run dot app dot type script so it will show you a error that uncaught uncaught permission denied so it is showing us that no permission was granted so we need to explicitly grant permission we need to run this command with this flag here it is showing this you can see dash dash allow dash write so we need to pass this flag inside our run command dino run dash dash allow dash write so basically this is a special flag which is available in dino which will allow dino to write files inside your system and then the file name which is app.ts so if you execute it you will see this message pdf file written to create.pdf and now let me just change this name to create2 and if i again execute this command you will see it will create this output file create.2.pdf if i open this pdf file you will see the text written here which is seeing creating pdfs in dan in dano was is awesome so here you can just do any sort of stuff inside this library this was a very basic example let's suppose you want to add some more text you can just copy paste this line repeat this line just paste it let me just copy this and paste it and here you can just change the x coordinate y coordinate to 900 so this is output let me change this line and again execute this so you can see if i now open this you will see 
I think I haven't changed the X coordinate so we also need to change the X coordinate to 500 so if I once again execute this so you can see that so in this easy way you can just create PDF files inside your Dino application with the help of the script for the source code you can again go to my blog post where I have written the step by step instruction which is given in the video description so just go to it read the whole blog and just copy paste this code here like this and one more thing before quitting the video you can just check out my website freemediatools.com here I make free tools daily related to image audio and video so just make sure that you check out this website the link will be there inside the video description freemediatools.com and thanks very much for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video